Okay, here we go. Heather Miller-Coke is out there as well. She's in the uh, orange the shorts towards the, uh, the three to the left. And the waterfall start gets them underway. Tim, you talked about it. Barbara Nwaba and Heather Miller-Coke, both great 800-meter runners, are definitely safe to make this team, assuming they run close to their personal best. The action will be between the second place uh, performer, Kendall Williams, and Sharon Day Monroe in fourth. Day Monroe's 800-meter best is nine seconds faster than that of Williams. So Williams leads her by some 81 points, but all Day Monroe has to do is beat Williams by 5.5 seconds or more, and she will nab third place. Well, there is uh, Sharon Day Monroe in second place. Miller Coke leads at the moment. She's a really useful 800 meter runner. Is Miller Coke for a heptathlete? Gosh, if she sp went to train specifically for an 800, she could probably run something close to a national standard. Barbara and Wabber in third place. Quintonia Chapman and then Wendell Williams. Wendell Williams in fifth at the moment. And Trey, I wonder what goes through the head of Williams. Well, how should she run this? She knows. She's not as good an 800-meter runner as Day Monroe. Should she try to stick with her? Absolutely, 100%. I mean, I, I know the feeling when you're sitting there on the line and you know the, the, the person next to you can outrun you. Uh, it, it's, it's, you're running scared and you're going out harder and faster than usually you're accustomed to. And right now it looks like Kendall's feeling a little bit, but she's never really had something this big to run for, so she might surprise us here. Well, down the back straightaway, 200 meters to run. Miller Coke still leading, and Wabba there, the competition leader, with the blue strips on her legs, battling for the overall victory, but also for the victory in this final discipline as they round the bend. And Williams, sure enough, is losing ground back in fourth place. The gap is growing and growing. She's got to stay within 5.5 seconds of Day Monroe, the woman in the pink top, who's actually running a great race using all of her experience. Heather Miller Coke then. Still leading, holding off Day Monroe. And uh, Barbara Nwaba, back in third place, is going to take the title, is going to book her ticket for Rio. That's a comfortable win for Miller Coke. And Day Monroe in second place.